All right, so this wasn't the video I wanted to make today. Not at all. Um, I received a bunch of text messages this morning. I opened my phone at 6 a.m. Uh, saying, Pat Casey had died. I was in shock. Like, like insane. I was like immediately thinking about his family and his kids. Simple. I'm a father. I mean, that's the first thing I thought about. And I was like, man, those kids, those kids. And I got up out of bed and I hugged my daughter. My daughter wasn't even awake yet. It woke her up. Hugging her woke her up. I know this is like probably corny or, or sappy to some of you guys, but like that's just the type of person I am. Like I see something like this happen and I knew Pat, maybe not on the same level as his wife or a couple of his best friends, but I knew Pat enough that when I'm going to events, I got to be around him enough to see the type of person he was and hang out with him, have laughs. And he was a good human being. Uh, he loved his then girlfriend, now wife, kids. I watched him grow as an individual. It's it's very rare that you get to see that in our industry. Like usually we kind of come across each other when we're at older age, or at least back then. Like Pat was one of the few that was coming into the industry when he was a teenager. He died at 29. 29, that's still a baby. You know, I'm in my mid 30s. Like it's insane to think that 29. Like I knew what I was I was traveling the world at 29, going to different events. You know, and I chose to put those things behind me because I became a father. Um, but some people like him can juggle it and do those things and be a father. And and um, he sure did, man. He, he was seriously one of the best bike riders, if not the best bike rider in the world, which I'll talk about in a moment. I'm going to go on to Instagram right now and show you Simple Session. It was one of the first ones I saw put out a post uh, about Pat after I got the text messages. And then um, they kind of give you a brief idea of what happened. So... Let's get into it. It's going to be off the cuff, guys. I'm not going to be, I might be going back and forth on things. So it's from Simple Session. They have a bunch of different photos for us to check out. Him, Drew, that's Logan. Another angle. Kevin Peraza with him. Sick pocket whip, it looks like. And this is a Decade 360. 180. Double whip, it looks like. Yep. Flip whip over the box. It's kind of hard to tell. Just, uh, I mean, seriously, an overall sick rider. It says, with, with genuine sadness, we must write the following words. Pat Casey, beloved father, husband, incredible BMX rider, multiple X Games and simple special med medalist, and all-around fantastic human has passed away. Pat lost his life riding a motorcycle at his friend Axel Hodges' compound today. Um, it was at a freestyle motocross track. His family was present and got to spend his, their last moments together. God, that's so sad. Oh, man. We're heartbroken to hear the tragic news. Sending lots of love and prayers to his wife, Chase, his son, Reed, and his daughter. Uh, that's insane, man. Oh, man. That's so sad. Like, I, I hear... I had a friend that passed away recently too, um, in a motorcycle accident, um, on a highway near us. So, and he didn't have any kids or anything, but like you get bummed hearing about that because it's like you, it's like your life is just cut in an instant and take aside the motorcycle. It could be anything. You're walking across the street, you hit and it's it just, it's gut wrenching. It is what it is. It's hard for me as a father, not to think like, what if that happened to me? Like, what if I was walking across the street and got hit? What would my family do? Would they be able to move on? How would my daughter feel? And it, these are things that you just naturally think about. It's not something to, like, guilt anyone and make you basically not feel like you should live your life. You should always live your life to the fullest. It's just, it's hard sometimes to do that when people that you know or people that are close to you pass away from unforeseen circumstances like this. Um, it's real sad. So the next um, next post we have here is from Ryan Williams. Um, so if you're familiar with Pat Casey, you've seen video parts from him. You've seen that he's been on Nitro Circus, um, their, their show that they have, and he does some sick stuff. Literally some of the most innovative riding, if not the most innovative riding in the park and dirt section of BMX. Um, let's check out Ryan Williams. So that looked like a cash roll to decade to... 360 what is this shred in heaven yeah i mean yeah, let's watch that one more time sorry if there's no audio i'm not trying to have any issues where it gets taken down from youtube or anything but this is just insane there's a picture of those guys says j2e 
Ryan Williams, Pat Casey. That's insane. So the next one's going to be from Cole Denny. Um, he posted this sick video of him shredding these dirt jumps. I mean, like, gosh. I mean, like, there, there's so the next video is I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to link all of this stuff in the description below. Um, at least most of it. All the YouTube videos for sure I want you to check out. And they're basically um, some of what I think best represents Pat Casey not as a rider but as a human because some of these are like documentaries. Like um, this one. This is a mongoose one. And this is on Mongoose's YouTube channel. So I'm going to speak through this. But you get to see like Pat as a human being. He's talking to his friends. Um, you get to see his son ride dirt bikes, getting into BMX. His wife. This gives you like a little bit of a background of him as a human. You know, like in his own element, doing his own thing every single day. Um, literally did it best. In my opinion, probably one of the most influential riders to the point where like people wouldn't be able to keep up with his riding style. They love to watch it, maybe mimic some aspects of it, kind of like Garrett Reynolds in a way, but couldn't keep up. I mean, Pat was way, way ahead of the times. I mean, and still continued to evolve. And he was a great father, it seems, you know, like really involved with his kids, had people over all the time doing fun stuff like this. This is from Mongoose's YouTube channel. And just like, this is like everyday shenanigans from the time. I feel like from the time that I met him, he was always like this. Um, and you know, I kind of got out of the competitive scene around like 2015, 2016, uh, right around, right before my daughter was born. Once I found out I was going to be a father, I mean, I'd meet, I mean, and then friends around me getting hurt and it kind of, I don't want to say scared me, but it just made me think it made me think and want to stay grounded. And so I just, I kind of try to maintain versus progress at this point with BMX. And I just love all things cycling. So this is the mongoose video, which I'm going to attach in the description. Um, and I want you guys to check it out for sure. All right. The next one is going to be the dream yard, I believe. So this is um, one of them. I mean, he's been doing these for 10 years since his yard was a thing. This is the most recent one. Uh, I believe I found this one in our BMX. Um, they posted it, but it's done by monster. So well filmed, so well edited. And obviously the writing is amazing. A lot of the writing you would see in this nobody even does to this day and he's so consistent the free coast he, he made the free coaster basically one of those things that like people wanted to ride even if they didn't know how like they just wanted to ride like this god man i mean it just makes me feel terrible but i don't know pat was a, a fantastic rider i feel terrible for his family and um being a father and stuff like that just constantly thinking about that it's kind of hard not to so let me know your guys thoughts what was your first occurrence i guess either meeting pat or seeing him for the first time in videos i mean look at this nobody's doing that man nobody and i don't think anybody ever will but they should make um june 6th pat casey day that's for sure um check this video out it'll be in the link in the description as well and the next one is going to be this on our BMX as well. I believe this is, this was posted like a couple weeks ago. This is just like a revisit back to um, our, our BMX went out there for like a revisit to kind of see what they were doing on the property. But yeah, definitely check this out. You get to see like the progression that he was making to his park. Um, and I believe our BMX has posted like plenty of videos at this location, plus a podcast. I want to say at least two. At least one, possibly two, I think. I saw Pat Casey involved on them um, with the unclicked. Um, but, yeah, it's just so much sick stuff. I mean, like, he basically took, like, I guess he was a great in-between of, oh, man, like, the most technical and the big rider. Like, he had a lot of style from, like, Drew Bazanzan. Drew Bazanzan would have, like, style. He would just go massive. But then he had, to, like, Pat took it to another level and had, like, a bit more technicality with things. And one of the toughest dudes, literally one of the toughest dudes in BMX, you check out his Instagram, you'll see some falls where you're like, how is he getting back up and riding after that? You know? I know, I'm just rambling, but it is what it is. Check this one out. Our BMX uh, link will be in the description below as well. 
The next one is going to be this is from X Games. This was uh, this hit home uh, because you get to see like the evolution of Pat. You basically get to see like a documentary of Pat's riding, or even just him growing up from being this little right here. all the way until he's an adult now. I mean, this is for, this is for, um, I believe it was for the Olympics. You know, you get to see falls like that. Jumps back up, loves his family. You see, like, almost every video is just showcasing his family. Like, he was super proud to be a dad. And that's kind of, I feel like that is seriously the most gut-wrenching part because you know, as a father, at least I do, like, how bad you want to keep that and how bad you, how much you love it. I feel like I have the same experience. I saw a GTR show, and it had me hooked as well. Um, but, yeah, I want you guys to click this one, too. This would be in the description. I'll put this one first because I feel like this one is, in my opinion, the best one because you get to see, like, the evolution of somebody grow up and become the rider that they are now. And you get to see a bunch of footage of Pat talking about his experiences and stuff. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Man, I feel so bad. If there's um, if there's any type of info I can find to where it's going to be helpful to Pat's family, I'll put it in the description below. If it's not there right now, it eventually will be. I'm going to be paying close attention. And if there's like some type of funding or way that um, the family can be helped or just anything in general, any new information, I'll put it in the description. Um, but if you guys can take anything from this besides the news, will be hug your family, hug your loved ones. You don't know. You don't know when it's your time. And um, sorry today's that type of a downer, but it is what it is. So uh, if you guys uh, want to, feel free to click all those links in the description below. Check out all those videos. Try to put a smile on your face. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.